Hey guys, this is Neil here from In-Depth Tech. So today we are going to see how to integrate a smart plug with the Google Home. So guys, what I mean by controlling is I can actually turn the smart socket on and off using my voice. Hey Google, switch off the smart socket. Switch on the smart socket. So the another feature is I can set timers using the Google Home. So what happens is I usually forget to switch off my socket once my phone or my laptop is 100% charged. So this really affects my battery life and it also affects my electricity bill. So I can avoid all those things using a smart plug with the Google Home. For an example, if I connect my phone to the smart socket and I know that my phone will get 100% charged in 2 hours. So I can just say, hey Google, switch off the smart socket in 2 hours. Okay, I'll turn off the smart socket at 2.25 am. It's that simple. So let's get started. So guys, now let us see how to integrate the smart plug with the Google Home. So all you need to do is just open the Google Home application. Click on the top left plus icon. Click on setup device. Works with Google. So this is a Chroma smart socket which integrates with the Smart Life application. So you just need to search for Smart Life. It's right here. So it will ask you for an email address and password which is linked with the Smart Life application. So I'll just go ahead and select my email address and I'll just type the password. Click on authorize. So now the app is linked with the Google Home account. So just go back. On the bottom, on the bottom, you will see it says link to you, but seven devices not in home. So I'll just go ahead and select the Wi Fi socket. Uh, click on settings. Now just click on home select the home in which you want this device it is important to give a location to this device in the home so i'll just click on bedroom so if you don't assign a room to the smart plug it will turn off and turn on with your command with your voice command but it but you won't be able to set timers and schedules so just make sure that you assign a room to the smart socket so yes, the smart socket is linked. So now if I say, hey Google, switch on the smart socket. Okay, turning the Wi-Fi underscore socket on. Switch off the smart socket. Got it, turning the Wi-Fi underscore socket off. Switch on the smart socket in 10 seconds. Sorry, because of potential risk to safety. I can't schedule actions for devices configured as outlets. So now what you have to do is go to the settings. Click device type. Change it to coffee maker. Select next. So basically I'm going to use this socket to charge my phone or my laptop. So I'll also change the name to charging socket. So let's go ahead and try. Hey Google, switch on the charging socket in 10 seconds. Okay, I'll turn on the charging socket at 12.10 am. So it works. You can also set schedules on a specific given time. So for an example, if I say, hey Google, switch on the charging socket at 5 am. Got it. I'll turn on the charging socket at 5 am. So exactly at 5 am the socket will turn on. I can also use it for turning on the socket. So hey Google, switch off the charging socket at 6 am. Okay, I'll turn off the charging socket at 6 am. 
it's that simple thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like this video i'll be making more home automation videos with the devices which are easily available in the market don't forget to hit the like button if you're new please subscribe also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time i upload a video bye